Hello, welcome back to the Guns and Outdoors channel. Today we're going to be looking at what you see before you, CZ's compact version of their striker fire polymer pistol, the CZ P10C. And they came out swinging for the fences back in 2017 with their self-proclaimed Glock 19 killer. If you're a fan of CZ's in general, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Today we're going to be doing a tabletop review of this design, and then we're going to smash it on out to the range. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more good content. Stand by. Sometimes if I'm doing a first review, I'll go into more of the history of the manufacturers and splash in more photography. Since I've already done a CZ review on the channel for a CZ P10F, please go ahead and double back if you want to take a look at the full size. It's an awesome gun. Great video. I had tons of views. If you want to check out the bigger gun, go ahead and check out that review. But for this particular video, I'll go ahead and do a quick recap. You can get CZs made in the U.S. headquarters, which is in Kansas City, Kansas. So you can see that here, front of the frame. And then they're still made over in the Czech Republic. And that's what I love about this P10C. You can see this guy right there made in the Czech Republic as well. These guys come very well equipped. It goes without saying. You get a lot of options right out of the box. Awesome frame, slide, great features. In my opinion, the only people that are going to want to upgrade are people that are in a competition. You might see more grip tape, rails and slide releases, compensators, extended barrels. Overall length on the C, in terms of spec, 7.3 inches with a 4-inch barrel, chambered in 9mm, 15 plus 1 capacity, back to the opener. It's the equivalent of the Glock 19. In terms of the frame, we've got the fiber-reinforced polymer material. I believe the original ones came with a white three-dot sight. I think they're still coming now with a blacked-out rear and a nice tritium night sight, which is orange, and it's made by XS. I really like that. And my motto there, as you can see on this F, is look, hey, if you get something that works, stick with it. But this has the Trigicon SRO, and this has the Hollow Sun 509T for titanium. These sights are just great. They're giving you lots of real estate. When you present these beauties, you're running red dots. Definitely, these are top dogs. Totally top dogs. I'll save that comparison for another day. If you're interested in that, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what sites you're running on your CZs. Uh, we can kind of take a poll there. In terms of this guy on the frame, if we look a little further, I call this a moderately aggressive stipple. It's perfect. It's just enough. It's not uh, tenderizing your hands. No problems. Some guys will put the more aggressive stipplings on there or the grip tapes. I don't find the need to do that. If we go ahead and look at features on the bottom half, we've got a steel magazine release button and spring wise this thing ejects pretty good man it's like elon musk rocket so very happy with that i love the fact that it's a metal magazine release button and we see a slight bevel here at the bottom a little bevel here to eject in case you get your magazine stuck and a beveled magwell for easier reloads right so you're getting on it on your reloads. If we go around the gun, you're gonna see slide stop safety. It is ambi, so you can get it on both sides. And then that magazine release button is good for the lefties. It's totally reversible. It does have a trigger guard cutout, so that's gonna allow you to get higher on the CZs. That's what I really like. Nice beaver tail to keep from getting slide bite. And these guns are really identical. If you could bring back in one more time the F. Go ahead and look. Identical, okay? So we've got a little bit longer frame. And we've got a little bit longer frame and slide on the front. Everything else is the same. So up to your, your preference. Continue around to the left side of the gun. We can start getting to the roll marks and the manufacturing marks. Since this was made in the Czech Republic, you see their triangle. I can't really make out. I think it just says C with CZ in the triangle. And then there's 21, factory 21 over there. Love that. I like the frame texturing. It's a good indexing reference point when you apply your grip. And with anything in terms of shootability, of course, the gun is fantastic. Very accurate, very shootable. You're getting high up behind the barrel and the height of the slide and the barrel to the frame is lower. So that's going to make this manageable on the recoil and you're going to pick up your follow-up shots easy. Of course, a lot of that is dependent on this guy too. If your support hand has a good grip and you've taken training and you're getting up high and tight to the gun, those are some of the techniques you want to do to make you get good grouping. In terms of the barrel, 
thick barrel. This gun is unloaded, right? Of course, there's no ammo here. Look at the thickness of the CZ barrels. That is cold hammer forge. So this barrel, you can be able to shoot a lot of rounds for a long time. CZ inspired palm swell. You can see the grip angle there. Uh, this fits me perfectly. You do get three of them, so you can customize to your heart's content. In terms of uses, like most handguns, concealed carry, duty use, home defense, training, any things like that. In terms of holsters, if you're coming over from a Glock and you're maybe perhaps trying your first CZ, that's something kind of cool. A lot of the Glock 19 holsters will fit your CZ, the 10 Cs. Be able to leverage your investment. Now this particular one was my buddy's and he was excited about the JX Tactical. He's got a couple other CZs, but I did run into something, okay? Uh, if you notice this particular slide, the SRO goes forward. Look how it's pushing. But guess what? It's pushing the gun out of battery. Pushing the gun out of battery. See that? So not the right setup. Stuff to look for. When you also look for holsters, as you guys know, you don't want to have an exposed magazine. If you're carrying something, it's rubbing against your body. You don't want to accidentally have your magazine not all the way in and you only get one shot off. I always look for that. Another thing that I like in my holsters is I like open bottoms. Open bottoms allows you generally to use other guns. I can put in this F and I'll be able to not turn around and have to spend another $50, $60 on a rig, right? And of course, this is the Holosun 509T. Plenty of room here with this optics cut and high sweat guard. So that's a little bit of an overview, some tips of the day, what to look for in holsters. In terms of training, I'll just talk about CZs in general. When I'm in classes, on marksmanship, kit, skills, all those things, kit is generally last. A techniques, procedure, training, and mindset, establishment. I will notice that I don't see a lot of guys shooting CZs, and I think that's because there's so many options on the market. Glocks, Canics, 1911s, SIGs. Uh, you will occasionally see some CZs, but I find generally I'm the only one shooting a CZ. One other person, which is the instructor in my class, he and I are, we're, you know, we're lights out with our CZs. We really vouch for them. Uh, but like I said, most of the time guys are shooting others. Your mileage may vary depending on who you shoot with. Accuracy, one of the best to me. Recall management, outstanding. Go to war gun. Would you do it? For me, 100%. I have no qualms. I've got a lot of rounds through the P10 series of guns and... These guys have been 100% reliable for me. Of course, anything can go bad. It's all about the support, the manufacturing. Everybody can have a QA issue. So be under no illusions that everything's always perfect. In terms of trigger, let's look at this real quick. It is a nice serrated trigger, slightly rounded edges, and it's a striker fired. So you've got the trigger tab. That's one of the safety measures. But I really like the trigger. If we pull it, almost a 90 degree, get it to like the 95 and then break. That's really sweet trigger. Now, if we do the reset, it's right there. Take up, no over travel. Sweet. I really enjoy it. It's a light feeling proper trigger. For me, I really don't recommend upgrading triggers. Do it if you have to, or do it if you're a, a techno gadget guy, but uh, I don't see the need here. In terms of trigger pull, if I break out the wheeler gauge, we are exactly Little smidge under four and a half. Most of the time, four and a half is right there. A four and a half pound trigger pull on these CZs. Oh man, it's just sweet. Really sweet. So you can just get right on it. Oh man, I like it a lot. Front and rear serrations, everything you need. In terms of pick rails, you got one slot here and the F for comparison purposes will give you two. You can put your lights and laser on that. It's not a problem at all. You got plenty of space for that. Comfort, controllability, solid capacity. That's what these CZs bring to the table. They're just a company that's known for high quality defensive and competition pistols. Can't go wrong with it at all. Grip angle, it's great. If you're coming off a Glock, you're gonna have more of a forward cant. And if you're taking the change over, but for me, I can generally pick up any gun and shoot it and present it well. I'll notice it on the very first presentation, and then I just kind of slip back into various muscle memories that I've established. In terms of magazines, one of the things you might think about is polymer versus metal. I find these to be very adorable. They've got a polymer base plate. They're a metal magazine, no issue at all. I've dropped these on concrete floors, been out in training classes with them. I haven't seen any bad CZ magazines yet in my first-hand experiences. CZs definitely rock. 
All right, that's around the world. That's our tabletop. That's our refresher on the CZ. There's only one thing left to do, guys. Let's go out, shoot this awesome P10C with this wonderful Trigicon red dot optic. All right, stand by. All right, hey everybody, we're at the range now. I've got the modern samurai target, so we're gonna go ahead and roll it out to, we're gonna go 30 feet. We're gonna skip past 21, all right? We'll do 30 feet, and let's go ahead and suit up here. I'm trying to think, because I have a lot of real estate on that target, so instead of just right down the middle, kind of feeling, feeling uh, like maybe a headshot. <laughs> Right? Ocular, what is that? Ocular cranial cavity. That's funny. You go to certain classes, everybody has the cool guy terminology for it. And it kind of changes and waxes and wanes over the years. But I haven't heard that. But uh, let's try, let me get you guys off to the side. A little better angle. I don't know if you're gonna pick it up though. So I may have to, I may have to, load one. One of the things I love about this CZ is always been the trigger. I really like the trigger. All right, we're going to go head box. Woo, right on the line. Oh man, that sucks. Let me try it one more time. There we go. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're going to, you get what you get tonight. Let's bring her in. There we go. In my world, line hits count. There you go, guys. I'm good with that. She was definitely a smooth shooter, too. Definitely smooth. I really liked the dot. I don't like a big blooming dot. I have a slight stigmatism, so I do lower my dots down a little bit for a little more precision. Uh, that's kind of what I do. So first shot, and then that one. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's take it out to, let's go out to 40 feet. Keep it going. Let me check and make sure we're still recording. All right, we're out to 40 feet. <laughs> 40 feet. All right, we are in the box. Now, oh, shoot, let's keep uh, pressing our luck. Let's go to 50 feet. 50 feet. I got lucky. All right, let's go 60 feet. So this is why I have glasses. Because when you start to get old, you can't see the you can't see the shots. And this is how a red dot can help you, is by the way. If you can't see if you're far sighted, which means you can't see your front side. I was moving my support hand and the trigger popped. I could feel it. Let me pull it in. Oh, oh, dang. That's another thing too. You can always feel a bad shot and that's a good perspective. See, I, oh man. So uh, let me get, a, re, let me get a, a redo on that. 60 feet guys, 60 feet. Line, line hits count, line hits count. So there's our 60 feet shot. Forget that one. All right, guys, this is for all the marbles. We're gonna send her way out, 75 feet. So a nice, this is point blank range in Matthews, North Carolina. Love these guys. And we're in the 25 yard bay, have the whole thing to ourselves. It's just awesome. I would love nothing better than to get a headshot on this because I can barely even see down there. And this is one of these things where the red dot's almost covering the whole. The whole sight. I just have.
had to focus on my fundamentals. I have no idea. Uh, that could be in, that could be out. There it is. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm, uh, what is that, partial credit? <laughs> so 75 feet. <laughs> partial credit. Oh man, what else can we do, guys? I would like to shoot these, because you can kind of hop, right? Um, but I'm worried that I won't be able to clear. I don't want to shoot because the target is hanging so low. I don't want to... I don't want to shoot the, the floor. That's what I'm worried about. All right, as long as I can see the rubber backstop there. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. So yeah, a lot of times different targets. Oh, I had one in the chamber. That's okay. All right, let's shoot the S on that. Right in the middle. Sweet. I'm happy with that. You guys see it? Shoot. That's a mic drop. We do, we need to stop. <laughs> I think we'll, I think, ah, uh, you know, what the heck. Let's do a, a mag dump right down. Let's do a 30 feet mag dump. Right, just A zone, center mass. Well, Gonna take me into low 15 rounds. I think this guy shooting great. I think it's been a good round of shooting. Man, pretty sweet, right? So head boxes, what do we do? 30, 40, 50. I got a mulligan on 60. Did another one, got a line breaker. Then took it to 75. And then I missed the this, but I hit the head. And then we brought it back in and rocked it at 30. Did a little faster shot. Did a little precision around 30 or 40. That was kind of cool. Definitely, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. How is the CZ performing? And how's this red dot performing? Man, I think this is a winner. A clear, clear winner. If you haven't shot a CZ, here we go. It's time for you to get out there and try one out. On that note, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what dot, what CZ you have. And until next time, thanks for watching. As always, we're out of here. See ya.